Welcome to the Red Dice Diaries and this is just a short video tutorial showing you how to make a quick and easy intro crawl in the style of the Star Wars films using a website online and the software XSplit although you can probably do it with OBS and other such software as long as it allows you to capture your screen input. So if you follow this hopefully it'll allow you to create your own Star Wars intro crawl and you can post to your group to get them enthused about your Star Wars role-playing sessions or for whatever other reason you need them for. Okay, so first of all, open up whatever your browser of choice. I'm using Firefox here. And when that connects, go to the Star Wars Crawl website. I've got in my favorites bar, but I'll put a link in the description of this video. When it starts, you'll see this screen. Click on Begin. And it'll start going into the sample crawl. So pause that using the video controls at the bottom of the screen and then click on the editor button. This will show you text boxes on the right hand side, which you can use to enter your episode title. Let's go for the stunning original sample Star Wars crawl there, very original. And let's go for an equally original title. Now, once you've got in your main title and your big text subtitle underneath you can start inputting your actual text for your crawl make sure to start it off with a punchy statement that sums up the rest of the crawl then it'll seem more like an actual thing you'll find at the start of a Star Wars movie just type in as much or as little text as you want although try and keep it fairly brief don't go too overboard you might not get all of it in before the text fades out at the top of the screen you can see here I'm just typing in some sample text, but you can type in whatever you want for your own crawl. As it says here, don't forget when writing your own version to occasionally put one or two words, important phrases in these big block capitals. You'll notice that's used a lot in the Star Wars crawls, especially if it's an important name or a particularly important plot point, you know, like for instance, the Death Star or something along those lines. And make sure you always end your Star Wars crawl with one of those statements that ends in a dot 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 and tends to lead straight into the session. Once you've typed in all of your crawl information, open up XSplit. You may see a, a little window which will ask you to approve it to make changes to your computer. Click on yes and wait for the program to load. You can see it's doing so there on my system. If your computer doesn't have amazing graphics capabilities, you might see a little error message like that. Just close it. That's basically it saying XSplit's going to use a lot of your graphics capability. But don't worry too much about that. We're only doing a fairly simple video here. Once XSplit is open, there I am. Look on one of my sample screens, the one for my dungeon mode game. Go on to a new scene and make sure there's nothing already on it. If there is, just click on it and then select remove to get rid of it. What you want to do now is you now want to add a new element and we're going for a screen capture. Once you see this, draw a box around the screen on your browser window that's going to contain your crawl and then release the mouse button. You should see it appear on the XSplit window. Drag it out so it fills up the entire XSplit window. You may need to crop it selectively to get it all to fit onto the window. You can do this by going to the edges, holding down Alt, and then dragging left and right, as you can see I'm doing here. It may take a little bit of faffing and finicking about with it to actually get it to fit on the screen, but it's worth doing in the long run because it'll save you a lot of time and effort at the end. You can see I'm resizing it here. 
and I'm gradually cropping off a little bits on the left and right to get it to fit onto the whole window. Once you've done this and you're happy with it, and it all looks good on your XSplit window, go to Outputs and select Local Recording. Once you see the text at the top of the XSplit window go red, it's now recording this part of your computer screen, the browser window. So click back on your browser window and click on Play to start your intro crawl. Make sure you've got the editor minimize and move your cursor off the screen you should now be able to watch your intro crawl play through now you will actually hear the music on your final crawl but i've got rid of it on this video just so you can still hear me talking and you'll see the crawl scroll up in cinematic style you should see all your text going past you'll hear the star wars music playing and when it gets to a certain point, the text now sort of far back on the screen will start to fade away. When the text has faded away, you'll be returned to the editor. You can now go into your XSplit window, go to Outputs and select Local Recording again to stop the recording. If you go to Tools and Recordings, you should now see a shiny new video which will contain your intro crawl. There'll obviously be a bit at the start with you faffing around and setting up the editor, etc. But essentially, all you need to do is drop this video into your video editor of choice, cut off the start and the end, so all you've got is your intro crawl, then save that edited video, upload it to your YouTube channel or whatever, and you've got a shiny new Star Wars intro crawl all ready to go. So I hope this tutorial has been useful for you, and I look forward to seeing what crawls you create with it. Until next time, take care and happy gaming.